<laughs> hey, YouTube Righty here. So uh, the following video that you're about to witness was shot a couple weeks ago in regards to the degeneracy and just overall terribleness of one Kenny fucking gay ass Omega of AEW wrestling. But before we just start with the normal Righty Lefty Smart Busters video, I had to include this little titty because... We didn't know this information at the time of the video's recording, and I do believe that it is paramount to the point we're trying to make in the video, which is that Kenny Omega not only fucking sucks as a wrestler, but he's a weird, creepy degenerate, just like all of his dumb asshole fans. Now, there are three instances that I've learned of since the recording of this video that lead me to believe Kenny Omega is not only some kind of degenerate, he seems to have an inclination towards pedophilia. Now, I know that's quite an accusation to make, but hear me out, because I have three separate examples of weird, pedo -y shit this guy has done that, as isolated examples, you may be able to say, oh, you know, it's just coincidence, but there's three, three separate times this guy has done weird, creepy pedo things. Number one, a lot of you might know this already, some weird fucking gay indie New Japan event, he wrestled a nine-year-old girl. Now, I know weird, gay, stupid, unfunny crap like this happens all the time in the indies. So you can go, meh, maybe he was just booked to have this goofy fight with a kid because Japan is unfunny and stupid and dumb and they think this would be entertaining when in reality it's just gay trash. But, considering the fact that I have two other examples of him doing weird creepy pedal things, maybe this has less to do with him getting booked in a goofy situation and more of him having a proclivity for wrestling children. I don't know. Why don't you look at my other examples and see if you follow? Another one here is that back in 2018, at an event that Kenny Omega himself was booking, he got this guy named Chasen Rance to wrestle at it. I don't really know who the fuck Chasen Rance is, I just know this was a bit of a fucking tizzy back in the day, because Chasen Rance just so happens to be a convicted sex offender, and his conviction involved him performing sex acts on minors. Kenny Omega's comment on this was like, oh, you know, I didn't mind working with the guy. He seemed like a nice guy. I didn't feel like I was working with a criminal working with him. It's like, bro, you can't book a fucking child predator to work a wrestling show that children are going to attend. The fuck is... And he's like, well, you know, he was a nice guy. Yeah, he's also a pedophile. Now, you know who the people who are most sympathetic to pedophiles are, right? Other pedophiles. Now, my third example of weird, creepy pedo behavior from this guy is from six years ago on a Reddit AMA that he did. Nakamura draws inspiration from Freddie Mercury. If you were to compare yourself to a rock star, who would it be? Kenny Omega's answer is the lead singer of Lost Prophets. If you don't know who the lead singer of Lost Prophets is, it's this guy named Ian Watkins. Ian Watkins is currently in prison for raping babies and having violent animal and child pornography on his computer. And he says, oh, it's just a joke. It's a bad one. Yeah, you know what? That's a joke if there aren't other examples of you being a fucking degenerate floating around out there. There's something up with this fucking guy. He puts his fingers in people's assholes. He's involved in gay butt-fucking storylines. He's wrestling children. He's booking pedophiles to be on shows that he's putting together. And he's saying that Ian Watkins is a hero of his. Guys, can we wake up here? This Japanese shit is pedophilic. There's nothing normal about this. And when the people who watch this are the types of people who write fan fictions about Seth Rollins getting pregnant and having five fucking miscarriages, there's a big problem in the wrestling world, folks. Kenny Omega's a fucking degenerate and probably a pedophile. I think I can get away with saying that. Anyway, back to your regular- So then debate tank, this guy got his just desserts. <clears throat> That's it. It's not quite ready for our 50 reasons why they suck yet. Because this needs to be addressed on a more serious nature. A couple of weeks back, we told you that we were going to make the goal of the Smart Busters channel this year to expose this disgusting, pedophilic, sexual deviant industry that wrestling has become. And, like, we always hear from people who care about the business, like Vince Russo, right. that one of the reasons the show sucks is because not only are the fucking weird, pervy marks in the audience, they're in the ring now. Oh. They're in creative. They're executive vice presidents of companies. Yeah. And there is nobody right now in the semi-mainstream wrestling world who is emblematic of all this more than Kenny Omega. A little bit of history with the Smart Busters and Kenny Omega. This is one of those names like Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura, Will Osprey, Kenta that we used to hear about on Wrestling Forum you way mean, back. It's just this fucking distant like myth. Just another myth, another 
guy that a, a nerd would put in his fave five and his wrestling Mount Rushmore to seem edgy back in 2013. And then we started to get all these assholes in WWE. And Kenny Omega's name started to get a little bit louder. And it, would, it was approaching. We could smell it coming. <laughs> Until one day this AEW was formed. And this asshole appeared in the United States. And I saw what he was. And I learned what Golden Lovers was. And you think... And we'll get into what all this is. I just want to say, when you read about this shit, you think... This can't be real. No, it sounds like something we made this, this literally cannot be real. Grown adults cannot sit and watch this and actually take it seriously and be entertained on a wrestling level It's by more this. than a wrestling level. It's like a life-fulfilling fucking... Like, it's everything to them. Are you aware of what Golden Lovers is? We've talked about it here on the Smart Busters channel. But, you know, since we last talked about it, our ratings have gone through the roof. we got a whole bunch of new subscribers here. And I would assume if you're subscribing to the Smart Busters channel, you kind of agree with us on things. So you probably don't know what Golden Lovers is. For those of you who have heard this sick story before, bear with us what we have to educate the next uh, generation of Smart Busters fans as to what Golden Lovers is, alright? Another name that floats around on internet websites is Kota Ibushi. He's in a lot of nerds' fave fives. He puts on, like, 12-star matches, according to Dave Meltzer. He's probably one of the greatest pro wrestlers ever. He's just another fucking gay-looking Japanese guy who can't speak English with strawberry blonde hair. A twinky Japanese guy with hair in his face like a friggin' manga character. He does a lot of kicks, though. Golden Lovers, which is stylized as Golden... A star and lovers in text, by the way. When you type out Golden Lovers, if you don't put the star, God. you're being disrespectful. Right? Golden Lovers was a tag team featuring Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega. The gimmick was that it was like a wink-wink that these guys were lovers and were fucking each other up in the ass backstage. Before... I need to take a drink because I'm going to puke. Before you, the remainders of uh, Billy and Chuck, this was no, presented absolutely. as, ha ha, look at the weirdos. This was a beautiful love story. This was a fan fiction come to life. Hey, that's the best way to describe it. This is a fan fiction, something that some, who the hell wrote this shit? It was probably Kenny Omega the, himself. The Japanese give their wrestlers a lot of creative control, which is why it sucks so much. They don't have writers. <laughs> because there was like this, all these like backstage rumors now. Is Kenny actually bi? Or him and Kota actually fucking? This is what you want your show to be based on? Whether or not two wrestlers are fucking each other in the ass? And they would do this shit like if they would have a tag match and one guy would get hurt, the other one would come flying in the ring and like erotically cradle his baby and kiss them and make him feel better. What is this? Now, let's say the Golden Lovers never happened. Right. There is still oh. mountains of footage of Kenny Omega in Japan fingering people's asses for some reason. <laughs> getting his ass fingered. Everything in fucking Japanese indie wrestling is about getting your asshole fingered. <laughs> All right, Aid. Good food at the fair. Huh? Yeah, that was right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> And these people for years have been saying that this is what we need this. This guy, Dave Meltzer says, nah, 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 this guy, this guy's the best. Nah, nah. You've heard of five star matches, Meltzer will give Omega and Obushi like six and a half stars. The, and these Seven. guys, they're just putting fingers in their ass. <laughs> and they do nothing of no And this risk. isn't, first of all, even if it was an outlier, that's still fucking ridiculous that it ever happened. It happens all the time. <laughs> Kenny Omega can't stop doing, he's kissing the young bucks. Yeah. He's 69 in the jackal. And every fucking two weeks in the Indies is getting fingers. Put in his ass. <laughs> Why? And just wait. Just wait. Because Moxley's already teasing a program with a Bushi. Just wait. They're gonna pluck this guy out of New Japan and or do some type of talent sharing shit that AEW is famous for. And they're gonna bring him to the United States. And this shit is gonna be on US cable television. Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi, Golden Lovers. This is what wrestling has become! That's great. Fucking Obushi's gonna come out ass first through the forbidden door. <laughs> man, right on fucking Omega's fucking finger. Great.
You want to watch a guy? Wrestling is gay enough, folks. It requires an inordinate amount of suspension of belief to enjoy it. And look past the fact that it's a bunch of sweaty assholes in their trunks <laughs> running around, rolling all over each other, right? You gotta look past that. And that's why in the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era, when they would fight and not roll around and slide and grind on each other, you can enjoy it for what it is, just a silly, goofy fighting show. They're not fighting anymore. Kenny Omega's not a fighter. Him flying around, sticking his nose on people's buttholes is not fighting. It's stupid! And let's, well, let's say again, okay, let's say no golden lovers, no asshole fingering, no gayness. But wrestling itself, they look like they're dancing with each other. Everything is overly choreographed. Kenny Omega is the king of this fucking indie flippy dippy bullshit. Everything about it is gay! And just look at him, he's fucking Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Got the same fucking ridiculous spaghetti jism in his hair. And the worst part about Kenny Omega is this fucking asshole is in a position of power in AEW. You know, no, you know what the real worst thing is? Forget that him as a person, that fucking actor who plays Kenny Omega, is an otaku. <laughs> Proudly! Yep. He loves video games and Japanese culture. He's a Japanese citizen, for Christ's sake! <laughs> this is the guy who has the executive vice president of the biggest competition WWE ah, seen, huh? Him and Cody Rhodes together. Couple of fucking otakus <laughs> running this show. <laughs> What's a bad thing? It's a bad thing because it's fucking retarded and gay and perverted. You think this guy doesn't have compromising files on his hard drive? You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Kenny Omega. The guy's a fucking nerd! The guy fucking freaks out at people on Twitter who make fun of The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> you out of your fucking mind with this shit? This is what The Undertaker's talking about when he says these guys are all fucking pussy boy assholes. <laughs> you know, this is why The Undertaker's gone now. He's not wearing black. And he, doesn't, he doesn't want to protect this business because this is not the business that he grew up in. No, it's complete. This is the gay porn industry. Yep. That's what this is. Just like we said. Just like we said. And the sick part about Kenny Omega is he's not doing it to make money because he knows, like, the crowd is into it and he'll take one for the team and have a finger. Well, he the... created this! No, no, no. This guy is literally obsessed with other men's assholes. He, that's, that's his life. He lives it. The cre it's, not, it's not a work. He goes he, backstage and he goes, hey, Kenny, what do you got for the match? Like, well, you know, I'm thinking maybe I can finger your ass tonight. I'm think <laughs> I don't care if the crowd will enjoy it. Because no one's fucking watching this shit anyway. So how about I just finger your ass and I'll be happy. Who the fuck is the agent for these matches? I don't think they have those in Japan. <laughs> can you, uh, you've brought this up before. What, would, what the fuck does Michael P.S. Hayes think of this shit? He must be so goddamn mortified. I, I, he's not going to last much longer in this business. Michael P.S. Hayes' idea of being disgusting is sticking his fingers on another woman's vagina. Kenny Omega puts his finger in another man's asshole! <laughs> it's, I mean, I, we shouldn't be shocked because we've been warning people of this. It, but it's always going to be shocking when you see it in front of you! That's not a normal thing to watch! <laughs> this isn't an isolated occurrence. Look up a picture! They have this, this guy posted this picture of this DVD he bought of the Golden Lover's greatest matches. And when you take the disc out of the box, the freaking hole that the DVD rests on is on Kenny Omega's ass! <laughs> and normal, supposedly just normal wrestling fans, you, you know, I just want to tune in and watch some wrestling. Japan's where the real wrestlers are. These are the guys that are tuning in to watch this. You think these people are normal? This goes back to the fans, folks. This wouldn't be happening if people didn't accept it. You gotta king shame it. Call it out for what it is. Tell Kenny Omega that he's disgusting. You can't let these fucking nerds have this... Like, these people are nerds who are bullied for a reason. Because they're fucking weird. You can't let them be, like, have this community where they can all get together and ruin wrestling for everyone else. No! We're so doomed. You have to call it out for what it is. Hashtag king shaming is okay. On Cody Rose. <laughs>